Hi guys, welcome to today's video on how to register your pit bike. Uh, this one will cover new or used, but uh, it's I find it easier to do it for a used bike, even though it's fairly new, which mine was, I just put it down as used. It uh, cleans up the whole certificate of newness problem. Right, so first thing to do is go onto the internet and download or print or order the V55-5 form. Uh, so once you've done that, I don't know on the computer here, my handwriting wouldn't be brilliant. So once you've done that, uh, I've just done it on the computer here as it'll be easier to read for you hopefully. Uh, so first thing you do, you don't know the registration number, so that's obviously you leave that blank. Tax class, you might think motorcycle, but no, it's bicycle. Uh, the period of tax you want to go for, which you might as well go for the 12 months. Now your tax fee on my particular bike because it's 160 cc it's 44 pounds let me call you up this little chart here this is on the government site on gov.uk forward slash vehicle vehicle tax rate tables uh, we see here up to 150 cc is 20 pounds and then 151 to 400 which mine falls into is 44 so just whatever class yours is pick the right amount Next, we move on to the manufacturer, so whatever it is, say if on M2R or Welsh pit bikes or Stomp or whatever it is, uh, make, just if they don't have a clear make and just put down the same, uh, or if they see obviously the same make and manufacturer, just put down the same. The model, mine is RF160. Type of body, motorcycle, wheel plan, two wheel obviously. Color, red, white, whatever it should be. Now this is the important part, number 11 here, type approval. We don't want to have to do type approval, so put in exempt enduro. That keeps you from doing the SVA testing, like certain heights of this or whatever, you know, all different things, but it just makes it a lot easier. There's nothing really down the bottom that has to be done. Uh, just year of manufacture, 2021, that all stays blank. Then move up to the top, state of country of vehicle purchase from, wherever it is, England, Ireland, whatever. And it may be motorbike, but just fill in right hand drive, it's, it's just something that has to be done. Um, date of which tax is to run from, uh, just whatever today's current date is, whenever you're filling this out. I had done this a little while ago, so that's why it says the first to the first. Type of fuel, it's obviously petrol. Uh, your Venner chassis number. And here, just make sure everything is correct because they'll be checking it against the Nova site. And I don't, I know I don't have a Nova video up at the moment, but uh, the site seems to be down, whether it's just here in Northern Ireland or what. But I can't just get it done at the moment, but I will get it done once it goes back up again. Uh, engine number, which should be on your engine if you can't find it somewhere, but it should be on there somewhere. Cylinder capacity, obviously 160 or whatever yours is. And uh, one second to turn over the page here. Right, so on this next side, nothing really to worry about up there. And just obviously in this part, fill in your own details, just name, address, etc. DVL, leaflet numbers, obviously nothing to worry about. Post town, date of birth, don't have to do that. Uh, you're not a dealer, so don't worry about that. And another little important part down here is the vehicle exempt from type approval. This is from section 11 a while ago. If so, please indicate the full reason for exemption. It is a trials or enduro exempt from SVA testing. Just write it in like that, that's all you have to do. And then mileage recorded in speedometer. Hasn't been on the road for, so 0000. And sign and today's date, and that's that's pretty much it. Now also, another little thing I recommend is sending away a letter. Okay, so you want to provide a little cover letter just explaining what the situation is and to hopefully give it, help things along a little bit. Uh, just write something like this. Uh, I'm writing to you today to provide a cover letter for my vehicle registration. Yeah, I am unable to provide a certificate in newness, so I wish to register the bike in a Q rage and then just explain that a little. I hope as possible is given the bike as a gift from friends, parents, whatever. And do not have receipts, or you may have to say that you bought it of a friend, and it's just a cash sale. So no, obviously, obviously no receipt. 
uh, and just simply say I have enclosed vehicle registration fee change that to fee would be better fee for registration 55 pounds which is always the same and then the tax fee for 12 months or six months whatever you want to do and whatever amount your bike uh, is on a single check or two separate checks whatever but one check is fine and then just you know uh, i hope this have done everything correctly it's my first time registering a vehicle just again just be nice and hopefully it helps out but i had no problems at all so hopefully you won't either and that's pretty much it there's not much more to it uh, just make sure every little thing is done correctly all your numbers especially and your check has read out the right uh, name yeah just write on your check or whatever DVLA Swansea that's all you have to do there uh, so that's about it if you fill that in Hopefully you'll be on the road pretty soon, but see, with things the way they are, it took five weeks, pretty much five weeks exactly from when I put it in the post box to come back, and I thought it might have come back with something wrong, but no, it came back right away, everything is grand, so got the plate on it the next day, and that was that. So hopefully everything goes well for you, and hopefully see you on the road soon. Thanks.